Hi traders, this is Roberto for Forex Northwest Institute. And today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about a very, very simple strategy on finding support and resistance and being able to capture those small amount of pips, anywhere from 20 to 100 pips, just finding trades based on support and resistance using a stochastics indicator and qualifying it, just having a checklist. So the checklist I have is here. I look for overbought or over, overbought or oversold stochastics indicator on the one hour and four hour chart. So stochastics indicator has to be overbought or oversold on the one hour and four hour chart. Usually it won't take a trade unless um, that qualifies. Number two, has the market met it or exceeded its daily range? Very important because markets tend to exceed or just meet their daily ranges and then they retrace. Candlestick patterns, very important. Inside bars, exhaustion candles, there's so many, it's about seven or eight that are very important that I focus on. Tweezers, of tops or bottoms, evening stars and morning stars. There's also a color change candle strategy that I use. And number four, has price hit or previous resistance to support level? Very, very powerful area of support and resistance levels when markets tend to react to these levels, especially on daily and weekly charts. And also the time of day, I'm looking at a London close or beginning or the end of the session. So let me get started. This is the pound dollar. And here were two trades that were taken. The first one was on October the 16th. And if you notice the castics on the one hour chart, is oversold on a one hour chart. We have the second thing I do is that I count the number of pips from the swing high to the swing low. And that was pretty much about 180 pips, which exceeded its daily range on the pound dollar. Then I look for candlestick pattern and we have a color change candle. And for those of you that are familiar with the color change candle strategy, all we need is two consecutive candles, same color, and then a color change candle to qualify. Here we had one, two, three, four red candles followed by a color change candle. And this color change candle also happens to be an inside bar. So there are several, you know, two ways you could have traded this. Waited, wait till the candle, the next candle printed eight pips above the close of this candle and then take the trade. Or waited till the candle closed above this what is called a mother candle. This is an inside bar. This is a mother candle. Notice this candle broke right through this candle and you would just wait for an entry, maybe a pullback and take that trade. The next thing I would do before I even took this trade, I would look at the four hour chart to make sure that stochastics indicator is oversold on the four hour chart and it was. You notice that and sometimes even just having stochastics indicator oversold and overbought on the one hour and four hour chart, sometimes it's just enough to take a trade. So on the four hour chart, stochastics indicator is oversold. On the one hour chart, stochastics indicator is oversold. So that's, that's your trade. The other trade was on Friday, and it was also a London closed trade, and it was a very simple trade when we noticed this candlestick pattern, which is called an evening star, which is a reversal pattern. And stochastics is oversold, so we have two reasons. Let's look on the four hour chart and see if that qualifies as well. Stochastics indicator on the four hour chart is overbought as well. Now, I actually took this trade, but I exited because it was a Friday. Don't like holding positions over the weekend, but if it was on any other day of the week, I would have stayed in this trade until it came back down to a previous um, resistance turn support. I mean, the first one would have been here which is about 56 pips. We're still in an uptrend and we're not looking for reversal patterns. We're looking for support and resistance and being able to take advantage of these levels once the Castics is overbought or oversold on the four hour chart. Let's look at some more trade setups. Here is a trade setup on the pound Swiss and notice at this time of day the market was overbought on the one hour chart. Then I count the number of pips from the swing low to the swing high. And it's pretty much done its daily range. A pound Swiss, 100 pips is pretty much its daily range. So we've got a color change candle as well. 
then I'll go to the four hour chart and see what's going on there and I notice that I've got more information that will help me with this trade. Stochastics indicator is also overbought on the four hour chart but it's also hitting a previous resistance level so that's even more powerful of a trade setup. So the more information the better. Remember the price from swing low to swing high it was about 100 pips and that's usually the daily range. Stochastics overbought on the one hour and four hour chart. Color change candle on the four hour chart and if we go back to the one hour chart then we see a color change candle as well. Okay. It's just going over that list and I've got about four or five reasons why I should take a trade at these levels but I think the most important is the color change candle and stochastics being overbought or oversold on the one hour and four hour chart. Here is another trade setup and probably one of my favorite trades is when I see price bouncing off a support level and several times, I mean this is spanned over pretty much about three days and notice that there's so much rejection at these levels and when I see this and I see that stochastics indicator is oversold that's usually the best time to take a trade when price is either hitting a support or even a resistance level previous resistance or support level and you see stochastics is overbought or oversold those are the areas we should be able to find the trade now let's look on the four hour chart and see if this qualifies and it does stochastics was oversold down at these levels down here at the time of entry and notice that this support level spanned you know pretty much lasted for what from all the way from back here so that would have been a great level of support there's our entry stochastic silver sold on the four hour one hour chart and we take a trade here's an excellent trade set up on pound I'm sorry Australian New Zealand dollar when we have pretty much an exhaustion candle that's also a false break and this is a one hour chart Stochastics indicator is oversold. We also have a color change candle. And the market pretty much had put in its daily range on this pair from the swing high to the swing low. Over about 100 and let me just count the pips because I wasn't sure. So from swing high to swing low, it put in about 100, over 100 pips. And the Aussie New Zealand dollar, that's pretty much its daily range. But regardless of the daily range, we're looking at price action where price is exhausted. This is an exhaustion candle and stochastics oversold. And they complement each other. When you see price action techniques, when we see evening star, morning stars, or even any price action, any candlestick pattern that indicates a reversal and it's supported by stochastics, that's a pretty good trade setup. So we want to qualify this trade, so we're going to go to the four hour chart. And we notice that stochastics on four hour chart is also oversold. So that was a very good trade. Let's see if we can find a few more. Here's a great setup on the Euro Canadian dollar. Again, we qualify this trade. Price went down 131 pips, pretty much exceeded its daily range. We have a color change candle. We went, we have one, two, three, four red candles followed by a color change candle. Stochastics is overbought on the one hour chart. Now we go to the four hour chart. And here's the trade setup right there. And stochastics was also oversold on the four hour chart. And we would take this trade based on how we qualified. Remember, we just need three or four reasons to take a trade. Has price done its daily range? Yes. Is stochastics oversold on the four hour and one hour chart? Yes. Do we have a color change candle on the one hour chart? Yes. So several reasons to take this trade and the market completely went the other direction. So just to go over this trading strategy, the stochastics and price action technique, how to qualify a trade. Number one, make sure stochastics is overbought on the one hour and four hour chart. Make sure the market has met or exceeded its daily range. Candlestick patterns, very important. You must know your inside bars, exhaustion candles, 
Tweezer tops, tweezer bottoms, their evening stars, morning stars, a few others, and we also have the color change candle strategy. Has price hit a previous resistance or support level? This is one of my favorite ones because usually when price does hit a previous resistance or support, especially on a daily chart or weekly, and stochastics happens to be overbought or oversold at these levels, that's a very high probability trade setup. Then the last thing I do is look at time of day. Is this um, phenomenon occurring at a London close or a beginning or an end of a session. So that's it for the tutorial. If you're interested in becoming a member and um, taking one of our courses, we offer one-on-one -on -one private coaching sessions. We have a live trade room. We also have a live, uh, we have a trade copier. So if you don't have time to trade, then you can have our, your trades uh, taken through our trade copier. So that's it. Have a good weekend and see everyone next week.